Welcome to the Wonder Space Show with Miss Natalie. In a place you want to discover, there's so much to uncover. Are you an explorer? Yes! Then join us on an adventure. All you need to do is look closely, think carefully. Solve many problems. Wait! That's not all. We are the Wonder Space Explorers. We create things big or small and beautiful. We are W-O-N-D-E-R-F-U-L. We are wonderful. La 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 la. Wonder Space! Oh, hello. I was just trying to figure out how to get these green stains off my hand. I've been trying to use tissue, but it's not really working. Did someone say, use soap and water? <gasps> Why didn't I think of that? But I don't want to get up now. I'm going to try and do a few things. Okay, so let's drink something. Oh dear, now I have my mug stained. I'll wash my hands soon. I just need to get some work done. Oh no, now my paper is stained. <sighs> what do I do? Oh no, now my nose is stained. Don't touch, yeah, I won't touch my eye. Okay, I think I really do have to wash my hands now. I realize I can't do anything else until I wash my hands. I'm going to just use water. on my hands. What do I do? <gasps> That's right, you said it the first time. Use the soap. Okay, let's try with some soap. And you have to wash your hands for 20 seconds. Woohoo! Squeaky clean. It's so nice to have clean hands again. I was trying to get things done without washing my hands, but it wasn't working. You saw how quickly the stain spread from my hands to the mug, to the paper, and then to my nose. In the same way, when we are going about our everyday lives in the playground, in the classroom, we can collect things like dirt and germs on our hands. We are constantly washing our hands and that's to prevent the germs from getting into our system. If the germs get into our system, we will get sick. So washing your hands with soap and water is very important because it keeps us healthy. When I was by the sink washing my hands, at first I just used, that's right, water. Was that enough? No, there were still stains and residue left on my hands. So it's always important that you use soap. But why is water not enough? I will explain. The force of water is able to break up some particles, but you still won't be able to get rid of everything. Why? Well, as you go about your day, your body produces natural oils. And what happens is that things like dirt and germs and other things stick to these natural oils on your body and on your hands. If you just use water, it won't get rid of those oils, germs and dirt. Why? Because oil and water do not mix. I have a short experiment to demonstrate this. We need a glass, water and some oil. Let me pour the water first. Now I'm going to pour some oil. Now if you come closer, you can see that the top layer, at the top layer we have the oil, and at the bottom layer we have the water. The two are not mixing together. That's where soap comes in. So to understand how soap works, we have to talk about soap molecules. Now molecules are so tiny that you need microscopes to see them. In the diagram on the screen, you can see a soap molecule. Now if you look really closely, 
at the top you can see a head or a ball. Now that part of the soap molecule is what we call hydrophilic. That's a really big word. That means that that part of the molecule loves water. At the other end, we have the tail. And that side of the soap molecule is hydrophobic. That means it doesn't like water at all. And it does everything to avoid water. The tails are like, no, water, no, no, no. So they do everything they can to avoid the water. So the tails attach themselves to the oil particles, germs, dirt, salt particles. And then the exterior side, you can find the hydrophilic side or the heads. And it forms a sphere or a circular shape around the germ or the oil particle. This is known as a micelle. When this occurs, the running water is able to wash away the germs, the dirt, and the oil particles. Yay! Clean hands! Woo -hoo. I have another short experiment to show you just how powerful soap is. What you'll need is a plate, some water, and some black pepper, and some soap. So first, I'm going to dip my hand into the plate without any soap. All right, nothing much happens, All right? Now, I'm going to put some soap on my finger. Okay, so I have some soap on my finger. Let's see what happens. Woo, did you see that? Did you see how the black pepper, in this case the germs, run away as soon as I put my finger in with soap? That was amazing! Without soap, the black pepper, or the germs, barely moved an inch. But as soon as I put soap on my finger, did you see that it went... The germs or black pepper went running away. So that's a quick demonstration to show you just how powerful soap is. So we've talked about how soap works, but what's in soap? Well, soap is made up of something called lye and fats or oils. And together, when the lye and the fats and oils come together, you get soap. And that process or that chemical reaction is called saponification. That was a big word, but I'm sure you will remember it. Guess what, Wonder Space Explorers? We've been talking about soap and the importance of soap. Now you get to meet someone who actually makes soap. You're going to learn how to make soap today. Hello, Wonder Space Explorers. Can you guess where we are? We are the home of Miss Susu, and she makes amazing soap. Today, we're going to learn how to make soap. Are you ready? Let's go and meet Miss Susu. Hello, Hello Natalie. Miss Susu. Oh, it's good to see you. Nice to see you. You have a lovely garden. Thank you so much. Thank what are you, you so growing much. here? Well, the birds dropped the watermelon, but oh. we grow dandelion. We okay. use it in our soap. Oh, well. <gasps> she uses the dandelion in her soap. <gasps> what else? Have rosemary. I use rosemary as well. Wow. Wow. Well. Then we have spearmint. Mm -hmm. We have sweet basil. I use all of them to make soap. Wow. What are these? These are all soap. These wow. are some of our soaps. So this is yogurt and honey soap and the color comes from activated charcoal um and miss susu what type of soap is this so this is jasmine cocoa soap wow so i use cocoa butter to make this mm. i use coconut oil i mm. use coconut milk <gasps> to make this and chocolate powder it cocoa sounds powder so it's jasmine cocoa it sounds edible <laughs> Can we eat Please this don't soap? Eat it. it is soap. Please don't eat don't it. Don't eat the soap, even though it sounds like it tastes but it's so very good. Very good for your skin. It's extremely good for your skin. All right. And then lastly, I'll ask about this one. This. What type of soap is this? This I make from palm oil. <gasps> like the palm oil yes. in a palm oil yes. soup? Yes. And palm uh, kennel oil. Have you and had palm oil, oil soup before? <laughs> So this is a shampoo bar, shampoo oh. conditioning bar. Oh wow. You can use this to wash your hair. 
is more sustainable. Wow. You don't really have to buy plastic containers mm -hmm. with liquid shampoo. It's an option. Wonder Space Explorers, it's time to make some soap. Can you see our gloves? High five or high ten? <laughs> We're about to make some soap. Okay, Miss Susu is going to lead us and I'm going to follow. <laughs> okay, we have here a, something called a lye solution. Lye solution is made up of a kind of salt you use to make soap called sodium hydroxide. Wow. It's a salt base. And then ordinary water or any liquid of choice. It could be a tea, it could be an infusion, it could be anything. It could be milk, mm -hmm. it could be anything you want to make your soap more moisturizing with. So this is highly toxic. Okay, Wonder Sweet Explorers, so the first key ingredients we're going to work with, as Miss Susu said, is lye, L-Y-E. -E. It's a type of salt mm -hmm. and it's a sodium hydroxide. Now it sounds dangerous, it is. You shouldn't use it by yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to have an adult and you have to have protective gear. All right, we have our lye, what next? So now we have our oils. <gasps> Today, we're going to work with coconut oil. <gasps> coconut oil! So, coconut oil soap gives you white soap like these. Ooh, these are so cool. All right, what next? Okay, so now we're going to start making our soap. <laughs> Once our lye has cooled down, so we start adding it to our oil gently. Okay. okay. And then we stir. So, you're adding the lye to the coconut lye oil? Lye solution to the coconut oil. Mm. And then we're gonna use a simple machine called a stick blender. This is a very old one, but it still works. So you just squirt in short, short, short bursts. So if you notice the color's changing, yeah. the color's changing. Mm -hmm. It's being saponified right now. She used the keyword we talked about, saponified. The only reason we need lye in soap making is to turn your oils into soap. Wow. So lye is, although it's dangerous on its own, in soap making, it turns your oil and fat into soap. Mm. And lye, yes. fat or oils together. Together. Soap. Oil, salt and oil gives right. you soap. Ah. It's a kind of salt. Right. Now we're going to add essential oil so that the soap smells very mm. nice and lavender is very relaxing. Right. So this is lavender oil. Essential oil. Yes. I so can smell it already. Smell. It smells so good. So we're adding the lavender oil to our mix of lye and coconut oil. Then we mix this there. Okay. And we're going to pour it in there. But this has a spout. It makes it easier to pour into smaller molds. Okay. So now we're gonna pour the mix. Mm, I can smell it. It smells so good. So. so these give you those beautiful white hearts that you. Oh, so that in looks there. in there. Let's let's see. Oh wow! So it's going to look like this. Mm -hmm. And you need to work very fast because okay. the soap starts to thicken. Okay. So, so you have to pour quite quickly. You have to pour. <laughs> so this is moringa powder. If you want a shade of green, you can add any of the herbal powders. So this morning we have moringa powder from this brand. It's an excellent brand. Then you have turmeric. Will also give you same shades of yellow and orange okay it might be darker it might be lighter depending on the quantity you use okay we're going to have greenish and yellowish soap it's time for some color so you've added the moringa which moringa is green powder. yes green. it's starting to look green green yes so would you like to try? Yes, to I would like to try. Gently, and I'll mix the yellow in there for you. Okay, so we're pouring our green mix. Gently. Gently. So you're pouring the orange looking mm. one, and I'm pouring the green. Mm. Can you see the orange mixture? We're going to pour some more orange hearts, heart soap. Seahorse. Mm. 
I'm making see the different colors. Yeah. So will it be different patterns? Yes. You end up with all these lovely colors showing in the final result. Oh. Under Space Explorers is actually quite easy to make soap, but you have to have a responsible adult who knows how to make soap. Because remember, we said the lie is dangerous. But it's quick, it's fast, and I had so much fun, and I can't wait to see how pretty it looks. Thank you, Miss Susu. You're welcome. <laughs> and it's so lovely. I wish I could see how it looks right now. How long do we have to wait? You have to wait a couple of hours. Hours? Yes. How many hours? Anywhere from maybe an hour and a half, two hours. <gasps> and sometimes it can take a whole day. A whole day? It depends on which oils you've used in your soap. But coconut oil soap in general becomes hard fast. Okay. So, so because we use coconut oil, we might see the final product quicker today, <laughs> today. Yes, today. okay <laughs> it's very important that we wash our hands afterwards because you don't want any lye or residue on your hand i'm going to use the starfish, starfish. Ooh. let's see oh let's see oh it lathers so well i can see some bubbles okay all right we're all set i love the starfish soap yay Oh, what's in here? So this is where we keep all our cured soaps. Wow, this is like a store mini full. Uh, yeah, it's a mini factory of soaps. This is so there's so many interesting types of soap mm -hmm. in there. But what is this? So this is loofah. Mm -hmm. Loofah is a natural kind of sponge that grows on a tree. <gasps> this grows on a tree? So it looks like a large zucchini or courgette or a cucumber. Okay. So it dries, it becomes long on the tree, it dries out. You remove it from the tree, you peel it. Okay. And you have your loofah in there, you can cut them up into pieces. And so that's what we've done. We've used loofah onto the soap. So when we make the soap soft like Oh, that, are there seeds in there still? Yes. So you can plant loofah out of the seeds. Oh, wow. It seems hard. You right. might question whether it's good on the skin. Mm -hmm. But as soon as water gets onto it, it softens up. Okay. And it's excellent to exfoliate your skin with this and to bath with this. Wow. So, so this I is... actually bath with this. Oh, so this is a natural sponge. This is a natural sponge. <laughs> it's sustainable. It can decompose and it does not damage the environment. It's eco-friendly. Wow, so I can grow some natural sponges yes. in my backyard. Yes, you can. Wow. You can. <laughs> so this is actually then a soap sponge or yes. a sponge soap. Yes. Or a two-in-one. Wow, this is so creative. Yes, that's all I is. won't have to pack, when I'm traveling, yes. I won't have to pack my yes. sponge yes. and yes. then my soap. Yes. I just buy a sponge soap. Yes. <laughs> I had an amazing time making soap. Wonder Space Explorers, I hope you had an amazing time too. And you can make soap all thanks to Miss Susu. Oh, thank you too. What's your favorite part about making soap? I love the fact that I can, I can grow different things that I can incorporate in my soap. I use all these herbs and the different things. Wow. It just makes your soap so great. Mm -hmm. It's so good for your skin. It gives nice color to the soap as well. Exactly. That's my favorite part, adding things, natural things to the soap. Wow. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. I just have a little gift for you and Caesar. Yeah. So I have one gift for you and one for Caesar. Wow, what's inside? Let's see. Let me pull it the right way. <gasps> Yay, hot soap. This is so pretty. What does it say? <gasps> Lavender. Wow, I'm going to use this tonight. For bath time. <laughs> Bye, Wonder Space Explorers. Bye. It's been a pleasure making soap with you today. Yes. That was amazing. I didn't know soap could be so interesting. Miss Susu was fantastic. Her soaps are so colorful and there are so many different shapes. I got a heart shape. We saw the shells. We saw the starfish shape. It was amazing. And we learned how to make soap. It was actually very quick. Can you remember the key ingredients? That's right, lye and fats or oils. And together we get soap in a process called, that's right, saponification. You guys are so smart. Can you remember the oil that Miss Susu used for 
are soaps? That's right, coconut oil. And the soap smells so good. <sighs> and one thing that I found so interesting is that she uses items from her garden. So she lives in Accra, Ghana, and what she finds in her garden, she includes in her making of the soap. <gasps> and they are all items you can find in Ghana. That makes me think of something called black soap. Have you ever heard of black soap? Black soap is now really popular and it's supposed to be really, really good for our skin. Some people in Ghana call black soap Alata Samina. Wonder Space Explorers, do you want to see how our soap turned out? It looks amazing. I love the orangey green hearts. It's beautiful. Great work, everyone. Are you ready to have even more fun with some soap? For our activity today, we're going to be making bubbles. Do you know how to make bubbles? And after we make the bubbles, I'm going to teach you how to draw some bubbles. Are you ready? All you need is a bowl, some water, and some soap. If you have a wand, you can use that. But if you don't have that, don't worry. I'll show you what you can do. So let's start with our water. Let's add some soap. Mix, 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 mix. Okay, now I'm going to take my wand. Dip your wand into your water and soap mix and blow. But remember not to blow too hard. If you blow too hard, there'll be no bubbles. Yay! Did you see the bubbles? Did you? If you don't have a wand, don't worry. You can use some makeshift things at home. So what I did here is I took up an old bottle, plastic bottle, and I cut off the base. I'm going to dip that into my water. And let's see what happens. Whoa, that was huge. Let's try that again. <laughs> Wow! In my eye! <laughs> that was great! I hope you have lots and lots of fun blowing your own bubbles. Now it's time for me to teach you how to draw very, very simple bubbles. So by the time you're done, it's going to look something like this. Are you ready to draw some bubbles? Let's get drawing or painting. Okay, so for this activity, you're going to need some black paper or dark blue paint, blue paint and white paint. You're going to need a um, paintbrush and you're going to need lids. You can have two different sizes, three different sizes, or you could just have one. Okay. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to start with our bigger circle or lid and I'm going to dip it in our white paint. All right, I'm going to press that down. I'm going to press that down. Next, you're going to use your paint brush and you're going to use the blue paint, okay? Now in each bubble on the left side, you're going to put down a blue streak like that. Okay, and you're going to do that for all your bubbles. All right, once you've done that, you're going to create a white streak on the top end of the bubble. <laughs> okay, like that. And 
and there you have it you've created some simple bubbles quick and easy you try it now wonder space explorers i hope you have fun experimenting with your bubbles drawing bubbles blowing bubbles and learning more about soap we've learned so much today we've learned how soap is made how soap works we met Miss Susu who makes amazing soap. We've learned so much. I hope you join us next time. But before we end, I like to say, Wonder Space Explorers are wonderful. You are wonderful. Join us next time. Bye. Wonder Space.